afternoon, you guys. It is a lovely Monday. I uh, just finished my first day back at work. I was on vacation all week last week. We, um, well, I spent a lot of time at home in the beginning part of the week. I got some stuff done at home that I've been wanting to do. And then on Wednesday, we left and we went to Lake Cumberland in Kentucky. And it is the most beautiful place I think I've ever been in my life. Not even kidding. Look up, Google Lake Cumberland and you'll be able to see pictures of this oh, amazing, huge, clean, man-made lake. And you will see what I'm talking about. There are cliffs everywhere and the water is so clean. You can see down, like you can see down through the water like 20 feet. I spent a lot of time snorkeling and just floating around and we ended up at two different waterfalls. Um, the first one was uh, Greasy Creek Waterfall and the second was um, Mystery Waterfall. Mystery Waterfall, I didn't even get a picture you guys. I kind of had to hike to this area where it was um, kind of through a stream and you get up to the waterfall and it's kind of like stacked um, and you could climb you could climb up the side of this waterfall and then get behind it and my brother and sister and I climbed this waterfall together and we just kind of hung out behind the falls and we all talked about how beautiful it was and how it's so rare in our lives that we get to see something so serene and peaceful. There were little snails everywhere. There was these big green caterpillars and moss growing down the side of these cliffs. And it was um, spring water, so it was super cold and refreshing on that hot day. And oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> I'm thinking about moving there. Jamestown, Kentucky is where we were and Safe Harbor um, and oh, I just cannot explain to you how beautiful and serene it is there. It was like being out of the country. Um, I actually watched a short little documentary about Lake Cumberland because I had never been there before. I wanted to know, you know, how it was created, why it was dammed up and why, you know, why it's there and like what the history is and a woman got on there and gave like her review of it she's a world traveler and she's been to so many different countries and she said lake cumberland is top five most beautiful places she's ever been in her life it is phenomenal if you live in the states even if you don't live in the states and you're looking to travel you guys got you gotta go you have to go it is amazing. You rent a boat. That's how it works. You rent a boat or you bring your own boat. Most people don't have boats. I don't. Um, we rented a Tritune boat, um, my family and I, and we spent two full days out on the water. We rented little cabins to stay in at night and it was wonderful. Wonderful. So I think I have just like a few pictures to share and maybe a couple little video clips but I didn't I didn't film a whole lot I didn't have my phone out I didn't want to drop it in the water or anything um, I just spent a lot of face time with my my family and it was exactly what I needed I needed a break from work I needed a break from home I and it was a good week it was exactly what the doctor ordered I feel so much better um, if you follow my channel um, closely at all, you know that I'm I'm not um, my uploads aren't regular. I don't I'm not very consistent, and I'm just probably never going to be. Um, but I haven't been uploading the past few weeks because I just felt like blah. I've I've just I haven't been inspired. Um, but I feel like I'm in a really good headspace right now, and. Um, I don't know maybe I'll pick up the camera a little bit more frequently and chat with you guys I've been watching vlogs again I took a break you know um, pretty much from all social media 
for a while. I post here and there on my Facebook. I have to use my Facebook for like marketing things that I'm working on. Um, I have some events coming up that I'm hosting and I have to use it for that. And I'm in a book club and I use Facebook for my book club. And I just had to step away and I found myself laying in my bed very early in the evening and sleeping in late and it, I was just very much in a funk. I was in a deep funk. <laughs> it wasn't good. It was not good and um, I'm feeling a lot better now. So I just wanted to hop on here and, and let you guys know that I'm here. I'm here and I'm doing great. Sorry, my badge is flying in front of the camera. So I'm on my way to get Quinn pick her up from daycare and then I have a girls dinner tonight I'm meeting up with my girlfriends we're gonna have dinner um, at this new pizza place um, fancy pizza place I noticed I looked up the menu and it is pretty pricey but the food look is like right up my alley it's like gourmet healthy ish pizzas with um, other options lots of drink choices I think I'm gonna get a mushroom stromboli I don't think I'm gonna get pizza <clears throat> I'm working on um, I probably won't do it today but I'm working on a calorie deficient diet so for lunch I had a lean cuisine which was actually really good it was like um, chicken vegetables and this mushroom sauce it was very good and I think it was only like 150 calories for the whole thing Mind you, it was pretty small, but man, it was good. So I've only had maybe 200 calories today, and it's 4.20 in the afternoon. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I should have, but I just got busy. It obviously, it was my first day back at work. I had like 500 emails, not even exaggerating that I had to go through. Um, so I got that done today, and I'm feeling really good. I feel like I've caught up. I'm... I. I'm back stable as far as work goes. I put out any fires that I needed to put out and um, just kind of caught up with everybody and you know, everything that happened while I was gone and stuff. So that was good. The place did not burn down while I was away. So good deal. So um, I wanna go ahead and throw in those clips here if I have any and um, I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 